welcome class 8 in today's video we are going to learn about frequency we know that a vibrating body produces sound okay so a vibrating body as you can see over here the body is vibrating with to and fro motion and as it vibrates the vibration passes on to the medium let's say the medium over here is air the air particles you know move along because of the vibration and here we see that this portion is quite denser and <clears throat> this portion is quite rare okay so when the denser part of the particles move in this way the denser part is called as compression so over here the particles are compressed and they move on and the portion where the particles are not that packed okay that area or that portion is called the rarefaction so because of this compression and rarefaction the vibration from the vibrating body passes on to the medium okay here the medium is a and it moves on this way okay so the number of vibrations produced by the source of sound in one second is called its frequency so the frequency of source and the frequency of sound it produces is always same that means whatever is the frequency of the source and whatever is the frequency of the sound that it has produced both will be of the same frequency the unit of frequency frequency is measured in terms of hertz written as h and z okay capital h and z so <clears throat> if a body has 20 vibrations in one second then we call then we say that the frequency of that body is 20 hertz similarly if a body has 500 vibra vibrations in one second then the frequency is 500 hertz the pitch and frequency are related in the previous class we have learned about the pitch okay so the pitch and frequency are related how higher the pitch higher will be the frequency or higher the frequency higher is the pitch so we can say that when a musician is playing the higher pitch in his music he is actually moving on to the higher frequency of sound Similarly, if the pitch is low, that means the frequency will be lower. The human ear is only capable of hearing the sound within the range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. That means if any sound is above or below this range, then we cannot hear that sound. Suppose if there is a sound which is which has the frequency of only 10 hertz then it won't be heard by us and similarly if the frequency of the sound is more than 20,000 hertz then again we won't be able to hear it so this range of sound which is audible to human ear is called the audible range of sound or also called as sonic sound and the frequency of sound which is above the audible range of sound is called ultrasonic sound okay so those sounds of frequency higher than 20000 hertz is called as ultrasonic sound and the frequency of sound below the audible range that is less than 20 hertz those sounds are called infrasonic sound many natural phenomena such as earthquake and avalanches produce infrasonic sound also many animals like whales and elephants use infrasound or infrasonic sound to communicate with each other similarly we have uses of ultrasound or ultrasonic sound it is used for imaging various organs of the body okay it's called ultrasonography it is used for locating underwater objects 
okay that is called sonar sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging it is also used for detecting defects in industrial products like if there is any crack or flaw in the you know metallic surfaces of the production then uh, ultrasound is passed through them and the detection is uh, and the uh, defects are detected bats and whales the animals they also use ultrasound to detect prey dogs can hear frequencies up to 45000 hertz and dolphins can hear up to 150000 hertz so these are very interesting facts about ultrasound so with this we come to an end of our video okay i hope you have understood this thank you